my friends, it's me again with another video review for a Gearbest product. Today we are reviewing the Sterilite DXM Diving Torch. This is a very very nice budget diving light, diving light torch. It has a Cree XML chip inside. It is a very nice sturdy diving torch. I already do I, I dove it already a few times. It makes it has a very nice uh, light output. It makes you feel very confident when you feel it in the hand. It's nice and, and it's a thicker diving torch. It takes a 26650, which I have right here, and we're gonna test it. What comes in the package? So it comes torch, the torch as you can see it right in front of me. It comes this lanyard, which is a nice lanyard for your wrist. It comes with a little with a little guider with a little holder. Which is nice if you want if you put your wrist inside and you want to tie it so it's not get too loose. Then what comes in the package? We're gonna get a second second wrist strap, which is a little longer. A very, it's quite a long strip, but it has a nice mechanism to secure it on your wrist. A little tip of mine personally, if, if you get this and you want to shorten it, it's not too difficult. You can open a knot or you can cut it, you can cut it away here. For example, if you cut it here and cut it here and do another knot, it's gonna be already a bit shorter. And this you have to see if you want to do it and how you how short, how long you want it. Okay, so this is the second wrist strap which comes with it. This is the first torch I, the first torch I buy, which comes with two wrist straps. Another thing to note: this one comes with the really with the Sterilite logo. This is this means for me means already a little bit of quality. What comes more in the box? A little adapter, which is an adapter from an 18650, for example, which I had right here. Where you can put an 18650 in, and it has the same diameter and same size and as a 26650. So you, you could also use the smaller bag. Let's put that aside. This is here. How does it come shipped? It comes shipped in a bubbled envelope of this kind. It's very well protected. It's a nice envelope. Gearbest usually all, always sends their items in envelopes like this. What I want to show you on this torch. Let's open it. As I said, it's a very, it's a very well built torch. It's a very high quality. It feels high quality. The orange are nice and thick. The distance from the orange to the beginning of the thread is big enough. I've, I've bought torches where the the orange was sitting basically almost on the thread, and you could you closed the thread once and opened it, and the orange was totally cut. So is very good plus point right now we're gonna check the state of the battery before we put it in to make sure it's it's full and we get full light outputs so we're gonna check the voltage right here and we can see it's at 4.19 volts 4.20 this is a full charged lithium ion cell let's put that aside for a second here is my 26650. I use the SoShine 5500 milliamp batteries. These are the, the best, or let's say the, the biggest, the highest capacity battery 26650 lithium ions I know. And they really say the minimum is 5300, but they have about 5400 tested by myself. Another thing to say, they are protected. I love those batteries just as a little apart. If you're looking for 26650 and you want good batteries, not too expensive ones, buy these ones. Okay? So let's see. How does it how do you put the battery inside your torch? The positive, usually on these torches and at this particular also, the positive goes on first towards the head of the torch. Okay? So we're gonna put it in and here is the negative end, which is gonna go to the tail cap. We're gonna close this. How do you close it? You just you just apply a little pressure until you find the beginning of the of the thread and then you can nice and slowly tighten it make sure that the, the orange did not come out some other torches I had that it happened that while closing it the orange kind of snapped out on the side and we don't want to have this but on this one it didn't happen to me yet I'm gonna close it all the way until it's hand tight 
and you can't overtrack it, let's say. You have a point where it's closed and then it's fine. How does the torch switch? The, the switch on this torch is a nice magnetic switch, which is for in my in my opinion the safest switch you can have on a diving torch because it does not allow even if there is any problem with the switch the switch might stop working but there is no water penetrating into your torch this means the torch is not getting damaged and also the batteries if you have an expensive battery inside your torch you'll be happy that there is no water penetrating at least through the switch so as you can see this is a magnetic sliding switch the only thing after a while you might need to exchange is the magnet in this in this particular switch which might get corroded but this I cannot say on this particular unit as I have uh, as I only have this since a short while. So how does it work? You simply pull the switch to the front and you have a point where it starts and I want to show you this because this is very awesome I think and it starts very 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 low. There you see the LED come on. This is the smallest I can get, the less brightest I can get. But you really can see the LED just just about just about you can see exactly the pattern of the LED, so it's just about to come on. Now you're probably not gonna see it right here, but you can see it on my hand hopefully. And I'm gonna start to pull it. And I can go over there. And now slowly you can pull it to the okay, you can slide it to the front until you're on maximum brightness. This is very very bright. As you can imagine. This is, these are about a thousand lumens and I want to show you this by testing the amperage. Now the LED has a maximum of thousand lumens, they claim the torch to be at about 800-850 lumens and I believe that. I actually think it's 750 to 800 lumens but I'm not gonna bother, bother about those 50 lumens they claim more. Let's switch it up and we're gonna open the torch. Unscrew the torch, and there we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the switch on, and with my multimeter, which I have right here, I'm gonna change this to amps. I'm gonna change this to amps, and there we go. Hope you can see this. And now what I'm gonna do is testing the amperage. I'm gonna just test the battery to the torch. The switch is on maximum and I'm gonna put it on. Now you can see the torch is drawing about 2.5 amps. This is quite good. Usually the maximum they can draw, let's say, are about 3 amps. So 2.5 amps are excellent. So the LED doesn't overheat too quick. Although in the water there isn't a big problem with overheating of the LEDs. So as you can see, 2.5 amps, excellent. There's one more thing I want to talk to you about <coughs> on this particular unit and also for other torches you might have, which is very important in my opinion, especially as a diver. You buy a diving torch for a reason. And what is this reason? Because it is sealed. There is no water penetrating. And you want to keep this. And the most important thing is keeping your O-rings making the making making the oil keep them clean greasing them to to not only to not only um, kill the chances of water coming in but also to extend the lifetime of your orange because if the orange get damaged after a while you're not gonna have any spare orange to change them you can get some after after a very long time you might need some this is true but if you if you if you do proper maintenance on these O-rings, you're gonna have them for a very long time. You can believe. How do you do the maintenance? My simple tip is after every three to four five dives, it depends where you dive, how sandy it, the water is, how many sediments you have in the water. But this has to be your judgment, and always when you open them, you have to see if you see any sediments on the O-rings itself, if they if they look dirty. If they look dirty, what you have to do is you're gonna take a clean towel, can be a paper towel. Preferably, preferably, and you're just gonna clean them off very with not too much pressure. You're gonna clean all the dirt off and also the grease. Attention, please. Only do this if you have grease. Otherwise, better leave it on. If you have, 
if you have grease, proper silicone grease, o-ring for, for, for o-rings, for silicone o-rings don't do it with, for example, any kitchen oils or olive oils don't even do it, it will ruin your o-rings what you can do is then after cleaning them you're gonna take your grease you're gonna put a very little bit on your fingertip of this grease not too much because it would be a waste, you don't need a lot because the excess will be washed away with the water and will be all over the torch not even washed away but all over the torch and it's, it's gonna be an excess which doesn't help for anything so you're just gonna put a little bit on your fingertip and you're gonna go over the torch just a little here a little dot there, a little dot everywhere and once you have the, all the dots done you're gonna go on with your fingertip and you just kinda grow a little bit just to, to give it a nice separation just to give it just to distribute it well over all the oils, over all the two oils. What you can do with the rest you have on your finger, if you, if you clean this inside here also, you can just give it over here where the orange have contact, just to make sure the surfaces are well looped and there is not too much friction in between the orange and the tail cap when you close it, because this is what gonna get your orange damaged. Another thing also if you did not clean them and if they look very very dry so if, you, if, they, if they look dry and, and you, you look at them and they don't seem to have any grease on them just apply a little bit of grease without cleaning them that's not really necessary in that case so that's what I have to say about this torch I think it's a very 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 handy torch it's a good budget torch the quality on this torch is very very good I have to say, I have to admit I did about 3 to 4 dives with it until now, I only got it a week ago and I have to say, in, in comparison with this battery, and I also tested it with, with my NCR 18650s B from Panasonic, protected ones, they are awesome. Even with those I have about one to one and a half hours of light. The box it comes in is nothing special, it is good for transportation if you need to transport it, and also the battery fits in there with the torch perfectly. Another special point for me is to for, for it to have two lanyards, two separate lanyards, where you can choose in between a nice short one, very handy one, or a bigger one if you want to if you want to tie it up on your BCD or somewhere on your diving gear. It's very nice. So I hope you enjoyed this video. The link to the product is in the in, is in the video description. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see us again in another occasion. Thank you very much.